Hello everyone, it's been a while since my last video. On this one, I wanted to share some tips and advice for young artists, art students, artists in general. I've been posting some shorts, mostly of my work and process, and I've noticed a positive response and some new subscribers, so welcome to the channel. If you're really into oil painting materials and techniques, this video is for you. Enjoy. So first of all, we should talk about lighting. Finding the right spot in your studio or wherever you're painting. And I would ideally locate my easel and my work right next to a window on the right side of the window so the cast shadow of my right arm if i'm right-handed is on the right side and not blocking my vision i also use some light uh, led lamps that are clampable on the easel these i i really recommend because you can uh, change and switch the the temperature the intensity the lighting everything these are amazing. It's the Tron Halo 11 WC clamp LED lamp. So those are really great to work with and they neutralize any shadow. It's easier to work with. If the day is cloudy and you're not getting enough natural light, those are really great. Second tip, keep everything organized and easily accessible from your brushes to your oil tubes, your pens organized, a drawing materials, everything as much as possible. And tip number three, draw every day or whenever you get a chance. And, and that's what I do before I start a painting. I like to warm up with some drawing, get my hand loose. And these sketches are not only beneficial for the painting, but just uh, creatively, they keep me in the right mindset in a way that is beneficial for my work in general. I cannot overstate this, I have it enough, the importance of it, it's extremely important. And I, I've been doing this for years and years and I can tell you, it, it's, it's, you can tell the difference. Fourth, get a good reusable palette that you can uh, rely on and it's, these are, this is a plexiglass that I use and I always try to keep it clean, as clean as possible. Whenever I'm done with the painting, I, I, I wipe with a Gamsol or turpentine and I, I scrape with a, a blade, make sure that my palette is as clean as possible. It's not going to be impeccable, but at least it's workable to, in order to do these gradients that I do with my, my, my colors. Number five, keep paint fresh with some club oil, a few drops, especially on earth colors such as raw umber, burnt sienna. And that way you can keep working on that paint for days, you know, for a whole week, whatever is necessary. Just a, one drop of club oil will do the job. Number six, get smaller containers for all your mediums. This is very beneficial whenever you're working with multiple mediums. It's very practical in use. Gamsol is what I use to clean up my brushes. And this is number seven, the easy way. This is very affordable, no fancy stuff, just a rag. Gamsol, which is the substitute for turpentine, and you wipe the paint out of your brushes very easily with a rag. And then you go on to the next step, which is really using ivory soap. Nothing more, nothing less than what I use as ivory soap. And you just run it through water and clean that brush as best as you can. Lukewarm water. And that just does the job better than anything I've tried before. I've used all these fancy oil paint uh, soaps, but this one is the best. 
Keep your space well ventilated with a good air purifier. Here I'm showing you the Austin Air HealthMate air purifier and it's always good to have it, especially when you're working with turpentine and all those solvents. It just gets rid of all the BOCs and chemicals and all those particles that uh, might be harmful in the long run to your health. Number nine, compare paint brands and find which one works best for you. So I've been doing this for years already and I've already found my favorite, which is gambling. But for you, it might be different. I, I I find that sometimes it's better to buy oil colors from different brands, depending on what you're looking for. I combine a lot gambling with Old Holland and Winsor and & Newton. And the best way to compare the oil colors for me, because I know that they are really expensive nowadays, is to just buy raw umber. That's perhaps the cheapest pigment on the market and buy it from different brands and compare them compare the consistency on each brand and you'll find which one is most suited to your technique and to your style. And I usually mix that raw umber with white, use some medium, try different uh, ways of applying the color in order to see and understand the consistency. Number 10, the last one, and I find this really useful given how expensive oil paints are today, get a tube ringer and that is a, a this device that helps you get the most out of every tube and you just squeeze the last bit of oil paint out of that tube and that's a money saver i'm telling you this is one of the best investments i've ever done in, in my career that simple device those are just some practical day-to-day -day tips for everyday painters. Hope you enjoyed. And if you like this type of content, please comment, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.